Okay, everybody. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a, a problem that I've been having with the trailer here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, this right here is our closet for our trailer. Um, I actually completely rebuilt this. It's a, a ground up type of thing, I guess. Uh, so this is a super sweet blue flame heater. Actual flames come out of here and it's like, it's really cool. I've got the uh, propane plumbed out to it. I also created a, because it creates a bunch of dead space above the wheel well, I created a drawer that comes out and I either can let it do, it'll sit flush and once it's painted it will blend in a little bit more or uh, I can build a, a drawer front for it. I don't know what I'm going to do but um, you know, I don't know, it'll be cool. Then um, this is a spot for, um, if I want it I can put in a um, I put in a uh, electrical outlet here so we can have a, a 110 microwave if we want. And then I built a I built a closet here, a full length closet if we need it. But the problem is with that, I have to make new doors because the doors are different. So I don't have anything that'll fit. Um, and all the doors and drawers that originally came with the, the um, camper look like this. They have these grooves in them. I've got to recreate these doors. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how I did it. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So I started this process, uh, I don't know, three or four days ago, uh, making the new doors and they've turned out okay so this is what one of the doors looks like this will be the the microwave door um, what I ended up doing was I um, I layered plywood together to make a three-quarter inch total depth plywood um, which is the way that they were originally done uh, I can show you that too. They were originally three quarter inch pieces of plywood that they're sandwiched uh, a normal piece of board here and then two top layers of um, plywood veneer. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to create the grooves um, and the routered edges here. The thing that's harder is creating these lines. In all reality, none of it's like, none of it's rocket science, but um, I took some videos of how I clamped all that, all of uh, these guys together. all that but today we're gonna to be routering them out and fitting them for the trailer so without further ado here we go so, um, the way I am going to do all of this is I'm going to take my Harbor Freight router bits which they're not the nicest router bits in the world but they totally work um, and I've used them quite a bit so uh, I'm actually going to use this bit here that is going to create this outside edge right here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's actually, it's not even like a round over, it's like a straight zip. Um, this right here, yeah, if I can get it out of there. Come on, come on, pull. Okay, this 
is just a straight edge bit, and it's going to create the um, the inset here. So that should work pretty good right there. And then I am going to use the spade bit or V groove bit right here. And this right there is going to create these lines. So I will like create a fence and run the router along the fence to create straight lines. And I'll just do it kind of in random places. Um, you know, like the, this is the upper cabinet for in there and it has, you know, just kind of random spots. So I'll try and mimic that when when I go ahead and cut those lines. So, let's get to work. Okay, so now uh, I am going to cut this um, inset cut right now. I've already set up my router to make the cut and I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole cut and wrap both of these guys, um, the, the closet, drawer, or sorry, closet door, and the microwave door. So, let's do it. Here we go. So, that will make... This inset right here looks pretty good, don't it? Um, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that. I think that looks just about spot on perfect. So, um, all right, I'm gonna do the next one and we'll keep on going. Okay, so now we have the inset cut. Um, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna cut out the, we're gonna bevel the edges with the router and then we are going to cut our marks in the cabinet doors so let's go let's do this Smooth edge. So now we are going to cut the channels in um, the closet door. So wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have finished the um the boards here it's hard to see um they uh they turned out okay uh, i'm pretty excited about them i think like um they're gonna they're gonna match the old stuff really well I'll, let's I'll, I'll flip the camera around and show you so obviously the quality of the wood isn't quite the same, but the, the way that these turned out look great to me, comparatively. I did not put, so some of these have the cuts in the back, I didn't do that. Yeah, and the... The closet door turned out really nice too. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's how you do it though. So I will uh, I'll put in a list of the places where I bought everything. Um, I guess I can take these off. Uh, I'll put in a list of like what I have, um, links to different things. But if you have uh, vintage cabinets in your trailer that are like mine. That's the only way I know to um, rebuild doors or if you need to or whatever. So uh, hopefully that gets you what you need to know. Peace out. Thank you. Bye.